I'd surprise you. What surprise? We had a lunch date at 12. And I'm on time. Surprise. <laughs> Anne, you're a girl. Oh, Donald, you are so observant. No wonder you're an ace reporter. I need a feminine viewpoint on a situation. What's the situation? The Middle East? Campus unrest? No, this is serious. <laughs> My sister is coming to New York this weekend. Oh, Donald, that's great. Is she bringing the children? A widow does not bring children to New York when she's meeting a guy. Oh, Donald, that's great. Oh, I'm so happy for Sandy. Are they serious? She's coming 1,500 miles, isn't she? Frankly, I'm worried. About what? About Sandy being hurt. I mean, the whole thing happened so suddenly. And the guy, I mean, if he was something like a doctor or a lawyer or something normal like that, I'd feel better. What is he? He's an actor. <laughs> well, what's wrong with an actor? All right, honey, now don't get upset. I mean, it's one thing for a talented, pretty girl to act. But a guy with makeup? <laughs> oh, Donald, for heaven's sake. Yeah, well, I noticed with all your love of the theater, you haven't picked an actor to hang around with. Oh, no, no, I picked a bigoted reporter. <laughs> well, a bigoted reporter would be better for this girl. Yeah, well, maybe not for that girl. <laughs> But she's my only sister. There must be something you've heard about this Harry Fieldstone. Donald, I told you the only thing I know about him is that he was an alternate juror in a production of Twelve Angry Men a couple of years ago. That's all I know. Oh, swell. Not only is he an actor, he hasn't had a job in two years. Donald, just because an actor isn't a big star that you hear about doesn't mean he isn't working. I work all the time and nobody's ever heard of me. Ex excuse me, sir. Mm, Anne. Have you ever heard of an actress named Anne Marie? Anne Marie? Uh, no, <laughs> can't say as I have. Thank you. Oh, you sure. see, Donald. All right, all right, all right. But then again, remember, you don't have to earn enough to support a family. Oh, oh yeah. wait a minute. Uh, Anne Marie, uh, isn't she the one that rides a motorcycle? You know, that sexy one, right? No. <laughs> no, no, no. She doesn't ride the motorcycle, but, but she is sexy. All right, right. <laughs> yeah, remember that. Yeah. <laughs> I can understand your concern for your sister, but it really isn't fair to prejudge a man without giving him a fair and honest trial to which everyone is entitled. That was one of Harry Fieldstone's lines in 12 Angry Men. As a matter of fact, it was his only line. <laughs> uh, all right, look, you may be right. Besides, Sandy certainly is capable of taking care of herself. Hey, wait, I've got it. Isn't she married to the guy who, who plays the doctor on that college show about the cop who was a lawyer? Huh? Wrong. Well, that dumb dame's gonna ruin my lunch now. I have your table ready, Don. Thank you. Thank you. I mean, it's not as though she's a starving widow. Her husband made sure she'd never have to worry. As a matter of fact, back in St. Louis, you might even consider Sandy a... A what? Wealthy woman. You might consider and Harry Fieldstone might consider. Oh, Donald, for heaven's sakes, all of a sudden you've got this poor guy being a fortune hunter. Honey, an out-of-work actor, a rich widow? Donald, shame on you. And she's my sister. If I only had some proof that this Harry Fieldstone was a nice, normal, warm-hearted guy, I'd rest a lot easier. And, honey, look. Can you help me to check him out? Donald, are you asking me to spy on a fellow actor? To, to snoop? Well, yes. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> That's it. Mutiny on the bounty, the Tahitian girl with the kid, huh? And the explosions and... Sir, I'm Anne-Marie. 
I knew it. <laughs> How did they do that? Huh? With the volcano and the lava coming down and the steam and the outriggers and the natives. How did they do that? Huh? Uh, well, I was just wondering if he's done any TV work that you know of. Uh-huh. And what about movies? Mm. And summer stock? Uh-huh. Oh, I see. Uh, no, no, no. No, the Harry Fieldstone I knew didn't do any of those things. Oh, I, I really have to run. Thanks a lot. Bye. Donald? Yeah? Come in. I want you to know I've just lied for you. I'm deeply touched. <laughs> if you got results. Uh, I happen to know how and where they met. How'd you find that out? Well, this guy I used to go to acting school with has got a girlfriend who's a dancer, and her ballet coach shares a studio with a choreographer who's also a very good friend of the producer of the road company of Hello, Dolly. And he's also very friendly with this guy he shares bookings with, who's a director from the Shakespearean Touring Company. And this touring company, last year for two weeks, was in St. Louis, and they were doing Hamlet. And guess who played Guildenstern in this Hamlet? Harry Fieldstone. That's amazing. Nothing to it. I'd say you have a real vocation for snooping. Snooping is for amateurs. We professionals call it spade work. Oh, she must have met him while he was in St. Louis. She does like the theater. Oh, and that's another thing, Donald. See, he also played Brutus in Julius Caesar, which only goes to prove that this is not a bit actor. He's a very big star when it comes to road companies. I mean, true, he's never done anything big in New York. But Harry Fieldstone in St. Louis, I'll bet, is Richard Burton. Yeah, I might have figured he'd use an assumed name. Donald, will you please give up? As we say in the investigation business, this guy is clean. Now, give me a badum badum. A badum da da dum. You know, badum badum. Badum badum. Badum badum. The Harry Fieldstone file. Badum badum. First of all, Smarty, out of 52 weeks last year, he worked 49, which gave him a shorter vacation than you got. Oh, by the way, here's what he looks like. Now, oh yes, he also supports his mother and his maiden aunt. He has a master's degree in English. On Saturdays, he works with the uh, underprivileged children, and on Sunday, he reads to the blind. Honey, how do you know all of this? Well, I've got this friend who works part-time as a waitress at Schraff's, and she knows... I'll just accept it all as fact. Aren't you interested in my modus operandi? I long ago stopped trying to figure out your mind. Are you sure about all of this? Donald, when I snoop, I don't mess around. I guess the guy's all right after all. There is absolutely nothing to worry about. All we have to even think about is picking Sandy up on time, and the rest is up to Harry. Yeah, then we better get to the airport now. Oh, I'll get it. I'll make it quick. Hello? Yes, this is Miss Marie. Oh. Oh, uh, uh j just a minute, please. Donald. Is there anything else you want to know about Harry Fieldstone? <laughs> I'm convinced, honey, you can call off your spies. This is no spy. This is Harry Fieldstone. Uh, hello? Oh. Oh, 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 yes. Well, uh... Well, I, I don't know. I'd, uh, uh... Could you just hold on a minute? Uh, thank you. Donald, he says he's heard I've been asking about him all over town, and he wants to know if I want to have lunch with him and find out firsthand. You better do it. Donald! Uh, j just one more second, please. Thank you. Donald, if I see him, it'll be all over. When he gets here to see Sandy, he'll find out who I am and who you are and who we are to her. And then he's going to find out why we were asking questions. That's why you got to do it. We got to cover ourselves and say it was just a coincidence. Donald! Hi. Uh, uh, could you just hold on another second? Thank you. Donald. Honey, honey look, I'm, I'm going to be late. i got to go. I'll go to the airport and get Sandy. You have lunch with him, and we'll tell Sandy you just bumped into Harry, okay? Bye-bye. Hello. <laughs> Harry Fieldstone. Well, the name does ring a bell. Well, is this my lucky day? You have to be Anne Marie. Do you have to be Harry? Well, for you, I'd be anyone. Oh, that's very sweet. 
When a good-looking girl like you is looking for me, I gotta be doing something right. Yeah, well, not necessarily. Now that you've found me, I'm gonna make sure that you don't lose me. Well... Hey, I see that you're engaged. Yes, yes. Well, I'm glad that doesn't mean anything to you either. <laughs> sure you won't be offended by my saying how beautiful you are? Offended? Oh, no, certainly not offended. I, I just find it, you know, rather hard to believe that, that, that you even feel that, because I, 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 I really am a very, you know, kind of un, unworldly and, and sort of young and kind of I immature person. See? I don't understand. Uh, well, it, it's just that... Well, what do I know about life? I, I, I really haven't lived. I mean, I, I haven't even had any children, you know? I mean, to me, I, I'm not really a woman even worth knowing myself. Strange, but uh, very intriguing, I might add. Intriguing, interesting. I interesting that you'd be using that word to describe me. M most people call me dull. My mother just says boring. My father, he, he, he thinks I'm obnoxious. Anne, why are you saying all of these things? I, uh, well, because I, uh, I, I want to be honest. That's it. You see, I really want to be honest with you. That's what people who, who really know me say. They, they say, oh, that Anne, that, that, that boring, dull, obnoxious, honest Anne. That's what they say. I mean, to, to, to just quote them. I don't think any of those things. I think you're just nervous, sweetheart. And, well, you might be in this crowded room. Let's go to my apartment where we can relax, huh? <laughs> Wonderful taste, Don. Yeah, she's great. Shouldn't she have been back from her appointment by now? Well, she's the late great Anne Marie. <laughs> Listen, you want something to eat? Not that I know where anything is. Donald, Donald, I'm sorry. I'm late. Oh, Sandy. Anne. Hi. Hi. Oh, God. Doesn't she look terrific? Yeah, great. Not, nothing like a little romance to put a glow on a girl's cheeks. Now, <laughs> listen, Donnie, I'm not going to react to your teasing. At least one of us has grown up. Listen, on, on second thought, you look a little tired. Come on, why don't you lie down? Come on in here and lie down. Come on, honey, you just said she looks great. Well, maybe she doesn't feel so great. <laughs> she feels fine. Please don't fuss over me. Well, I just thought maybe, you know, you'd want to make yourself at home. Lie down, take a bath, <laughs> unpack. That's it, unpack. Come on, come on, let's unpack. Come on, Sam. Really, Anne, all I want to do is, is uh, sit down and talk and relax a little bit. I'm... Sort of on a whirlwind trip, you know. Oh, that's good. That's very good. That way you can't get into any trouble. <laughs> I was just kidding. I'm trying to talk Sandy into staying a couple extra days. Don't do that. <laughs> you make me sound like a lady of real responsibility. Though I do flatter myself to think my children miss me if I stay away too long. That's it. Why don't you call them? The phone is right here in the bedroom. Come on in, call them. We'll close the door, and then we, I mean, you, could have some privacy. <laughs> well, that's okay. I'll do it later. I, I thought the four of us could have dinner tonight. The, the, the four of us? You mean you and me and Sandy and Harry? Oh, I'd love for you to meet Harry. Sandy, you want to hear a real coincidence? D Donald, I'm sure Sandy isn't the least bit interested in your story about the yellow umbrellas. What yellow umbrellas? The coincidence. I thought we were talking about Harry. Well, we were. Harry, Harry and Sandy certainly don't want you and me, especially me, around this weekend to interfere with everything. It's not interfering. Ann, honey, it's all right. A lot you know. It's not all right? Donnie, I told you it was too much trouble for Anne to put together a dinner party at the last minute. Harry's coming here? Yes. I, I, th I thought you were going to take care of everything. Well, well, I am. Of course I am. I just have a few little details that I have to iron out. Am I keeping you from something? Oh, no, not at all. Donald and I can take care of everything later, I hope. Well, let me help. Where's the kitchen? It, it's in there. Oh, good. I'm right at home. Oh, no, no, no. You stay here. Donald and I will go in the kitchen. Well, I can't let you just do everything. I'm not going to do anything. Oh, well, I am going to make some iced tea, and Donald can help. Oh, good. Oh, fine. Oh, I'll, uh, I'll put on some music while I fix the coffee. I thought it was iced tea. Oh, good idea. I'll make both. <laughs> Uh, excuse me, Sam. Anne, have you gone out of your mind? Donald, how could you have invited Harry Fieldstone over here for dinner? Because my sister's staying here. He's her boyfriend, and you had lunch with him today. It's one big happy family. Except for one little thing. What? He has no idea we're related. You're related. Sandy and you and I are related. Well, you were going to explain that at lunch today. Well, I didn't really have much of an opportunity. What else could you have to talk about? Oh, nothing much. Just breaking off my engagement with you. What? Did Harry Fieldstone make a pass at you? 
Don't. He made so many passes at me, I thought I was having lunch with Johnny Unitas. What did you do? Well, mostly I broke a lot of breadsticks. Donald, do you know that he actually asked me up to his apartment? And what happened there? Donald! Oh, yeah, well, right, right, right. Honey, I don't understand it. What could my sister possibly see in a guy like that? Donald, I never believed love could be blind. But this is really a rotten human being. He's a, he's a, can I help? Donald, will you hand me the spatula, please? Oh, no, 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 thank you, darling. I'll tell you what, you just sit down. I don't allow other women in my kitchen. Now, you just relax. Donald, this is really a lousy person. You just don't know. Sandy must be crazy. The guy is obviously after her money. Where are you going? To tell Sandy. You are not, Donald. Well, honey, there's been enough to see already, including my own. Donald, you cannot walk in there and tell your sister that your future brother-in-law just made a pass at her future sister-in-law. Why not? Because she'd never forgive me. But she didn't do anything. Oh, Donald, if you made a pass at another girl, I'd convince myself that it was only because she encouraged you. Women are loyal that way. No wonder men are confused. And besides, even if she didn't think it was all my fault, she'd never forgive you. We got the goods on Harry behind her back. That's like, that's like wiretapping. Look at you. You're a real master spy. You know all the spy laws and everything. Oh, we've got to do something. We've got to show Sandy that her boyfriend is a no-good two-timing rat. In a nice way. Oh, Donald. How did I ever let you get me into this mess? I don't know, honey. I really miss the good old days. What good old days? When you got me into messes. <laughs> you know, you know what's really ideal? Boy, girl, boy. And I'll eat in the kitchen. <laughs> Uh, well, since there's only four of us, I think everybody sits next to everybody else. Yeah, there doesn't really seem to be any way to avoid that. Well, well, what the heck. <laughs> you know, Harry will be in between the two of us, and, and that way we'll kind of balance out everything. I went ahead and opened both bottles of wine. Nothing's too good for Harry. You've both been so sweet to me. At least let me pay for the wine. No, I don't want you forking out another penny. Donald, so far you haven't let me fork out one thin dime. You've done everything. Well, you're our guest. Well, Harry really wanted to take you out. He told you that? And she, she meant take you and me out. Oh, oh, yeah, well, sure, well, sure, that. Uh, I mean... uh, what time is he coming? Oh, 7.30. Yeah, well, don't, don't you think you better get dressed? I'm dressed. Oh. Well, if you want to be alone with Ann, Donnie, I'll uh, go double check. Donald? Donald, Honey, now, Donald. please, don't get so excited. He's the one we want with the foot in his mouth, not you. Right, right. When he comes in, I'm just going to stand here and, and not say a word when he attacks me. Honey, I don't think he's going to be that blatant. Yeah, for Harry Fieldstone, blatant is a compliment. <laughs> it's him. Don't laugh. Why would I laugh? Hi, I'm Harry Fieldstone. You must be Sandy's brother, Don. Yes, yes, I am. Uh, Don Hollinger. Yeah, I'm pleased to know you. Uh, pleased to know you, too. And I'm Anne Marie. Of course. May I call you Anne? Incidentally, it's very nice of you to have me over. Uh, this is for dinner. It's, uh, I hope it's all right. I don't really know very much about wine. If it's not any good, don't be afraid to say so. I, I've heard a great deal about you. It's uh, finally nice to meet you. Where's Sandy? I brought some flowers. She's crazy about roses. I'll, I'll get her. No, 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 no. You go put these in water in the kitchen, and I'll go get Sandy, and then I'll join you in the kitchen. Uh, you excuse me, please. Sure. Hey, Ann. Oh, you're marvelous. You're really planted cool. Try to think of a way to dump Don and his sister. You think nobody heard that. Well, just don't forget one little thing. You and I were in the room. Uh, Sandy will be right out. I hope so. Yeah. Uh, she'll be right out. Uh, <clears throat> well, excuse me. I'm... I'll be... Uh, uh, excuse me. Sure. <laughs> Honey, who did you have lunch with today? That man in there. That man in there not only doesn't have two heads, he doesn't even know you. Are you insinuating that I made this whole thing up? Well, let's just say I think you have a tendency to exaggerate. <laughs> so he's changed his clothes and he's pretending he doesn't know me. But that man in there pinched me in Nino's not four hours ago. <laughs> Hi, 
Hi, Harry. Hello, Sandy. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's good to see you again. Oh. Oh, I, I guess you met Anne already. Yes, he certainly has. Yes, we introduced ourselves when I came in. Don, too. I don't know if I mentioned this, Harry, but Anne's an actress, too. Really? Huh? Funny we haven't met before. Funny. <laughs> I think I'll get the orders. Let me help you. Anne's lovely, Don. Huh? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yes, 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 yes. And awfully bright. Usually, yes. For an actress. For an actress, yes. Who's a spy? Who's a what? S spy. Well, why spy? Oh, spy. Spy. I'm correct, of course, in assuming that Sandy had nothing to do with your investigation. Uh, investig well, what investigation? <laughs> Anne a spy? Nor has Anne told her about our lunch this afternoon? No. No, 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 she hasn't. When, when, when did you find out about it? Sandy wrote saying that Anne was an actress in New York. When I uh, found out she was asking about me, I put two and two together and uh, figured out she was checking up on me for you. Ah. Uh, uh, do all actors and actresses make good spies? <laughs> <laughs> Probably. Yeah, so you just decided to put Anne on at lunch and tonight. Well, you both had it coming, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I guess we did. Well, I, I did, at any rate. I mean, Anne never did like the idea of snooping on a fellow actor. Oh, good for her. Uh, you've been very lucky with a woman in your life. They're both wonderful. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you. I think it would be best if we never mentioned this to Sandy. Yeah, I think so. There'd be nothing to gain by it. <laughs> here. <laughs> I mean, here. Would you care for an hors d'oeuvre, Harry? Uh, thank you. And... You do remember me. See, he remembers me. <laughs> of course he remembers you. Yes, of course he does. Uh, honey, come here. J just, just a second, Donald. Why don't you try one of these little ones, Harry? Hmm. Okay, very good. Just because you can fool Sandy doesn't mean you can fool all of the people all of the time. <laughs> Think it over. <laughs> oh, Donald, I just can't stand him one minute longer. He is really so rotten. Come on, I'm going to take out the turkey. And I have something to tell you. He knows what? <laughs> I should like to make the following announcement. In this evening's production of Dinner at Anne's, the turkey will be played by tuna fish. And if it's as good an actor as Harry Fieldstone, it should be thoroughly convincing. They're really beautiful. She sent them from St. Louis, huh? Uh-huh, with a very sweet note thanking me for being such a nice hostess. I really like your sister, Donald. Well, who wouldn't like my sister? It so happens anyone connected with me becomes warm and wonderful. Look at you, even. <laughs> oh, even, huh? Certainly. Look what I've done for you. You were nothing when I found you scrimping and saving and scavenging around for a job and taking any old bit part that came along totally unknown. And that was four years ago. Oh, and you know what? You're yeah, right. I better start to do something pretty quick. <laughs> Yeah, the only thing different about me is I've improved a little bit on scrimping. I'm still totally unknown. I'm still saving and scavenging. I'm just scrimping a little better, that's all. And spying. You've come a long way on spying. My spying days are over. Well, is that right? That's right. I just get into too much trouble from that. Just no more spying for me, no more snooping, no more busybody. That's over, that's it. Oh, good, good, good. I'm glad to hear that. I'm glad to hear that. Shirley will be, too. Shirley? Who's Shirley? Shirley? Oh, Shirley. No, no, Shirley. It's just a... Shirley. You better... Who? Who is she? You better tell me who Shirley Honey, is. Shirley, she's not... Im Shirley's not important. Donald, who is she? Well, if you don't tell me, I can certainly find out. You probably know her from the office. I'll just call Jerry, and Jerry will tell me. And if Jerry won't tell me, Ruthie will, because Jerry tells everything to Ruthie. And if Ruthie doesn't know, I'll call the cafeteria. I know another person out there who kind of gives me a lot of very good information. Ba -dum, ba -dum. <laughs> Ba-dum, ba-dum. Diamonds, daisies, snowflakes, bad girls, chestnuts, rainbows, springtime. Is that girl?